Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. This is Val. In today's video, I want to cover some hidden adjustments inside the timeline. Now, since a while back, Jazz has updated this timeline, made it a little bit better, but it's kind of confusing. And if you don't know about it, you might miss out a few of the new functions. So first of all, what I'd like to just do is get rid of your Jazz window and put this timeline at the bottom and expand it. See now, there's new things happening here. See, if I lower the size, it's gone, right? So I've got to resize it to see all those functions. Now, you also want to expand on the height so you see some additional stuff happening here, which we're going to see in a moment. So normally when you say keyframe a camera, you start at zero, you add a keyframe and you go back here and say just add a new position to our camera. All right, that's our super advanced animation. Now, what we also can do is if we have the camera selected, we can in the parameter tab control something called depth of field. So I can turn on here the uh, preview window with NVIDIA so you can see how it looks. So basically what we can do here is zoom in. Let's do that. Let's zoom in on the, on the cube. And let's set its depth of field. To here, right? So you can see this point here is pretty sharp. You can also from the top view better see where that exactly is somewhere around there. And let's make it really fuzzy with a low F stop so we can really see the effect. Now at the last frame, what we can do, because we have moved now closer, we got to adjust this, right? If I go back to the top, I would love for that to be adjusted so it's still at the edge of the cube. And then we can see if it's if it needs some adjustments here along the way. Pretty cool. Now, the thing is, as you can see, this now follows. The red line here follows exactly, but you can't see it on the timeline, right? We, we just see the first point and the last point here. And there is nothing you know, that you know, dictates that we have adjusted the focal distance. So at the bottom, you have types. I'm just drag this up a little bit. One of them, if you click there, you can select what kind of types you want to see, like scale, other, alias, hidden. Now you've got everything selected, and now you can see these additional keyframes that were previously missing from the timeline. So that's number one. There is more things that are hidden. I'm not going to cover everything in this video, but what I want to cover is one cool function that was previously missing from DAS, which is called either TCB or linear motion. And TCB is like a curve and linear is just straight motion. And if you notice, if I play back this now, you can see that the camera kind of starts slow and then accelerates and then slows again, right? There is no static motion. The camera is very, very subtle. The first frame is very noticeable, can you see that? So by switching, by selecting the camera, that's why I want to have a little bit of maneuverability, a little space, you can select the first keyframe and select it here to linear. Now select the last one and change to linear. Now what we have is full motion, see that? Now we have the same motion throughout everything. Instead of accelerating and being at the top somewhere in the middle, you have constant motion. That's what linear means. And if you want to go back to TCB at any time, you can just select that. Select TCB. Um, just see what I'm doing here. Uh, TCB and TCB. There you go. And now we got that acceleration. See that very, very subtle motion in the beginning. Then we accelerate maximum speed and then we deaccelerate at the end. Very subtle motion at the end. That's it. So guys, those are the tricks that are hidden in the new timeline. I'll find with Dash Studio and I'll see you soon again.